this is uh, Stephen K4ATZ. I'm going to talk about some antennas that I'm going to use for the KX3, which should be shipping any day now. Everybody's anxiously awaiting. Um, this little container here, I did a, another YouTube on these things. Actually, the chewing gum comes in these, and they unscrew, they flip off, they flip off, not a typical flip off, the fingers. And then you can put connectors, and I'll talk about some of these, uh, PL259 adapters and whatnot. So we're going to talk about some of those in a second. But it, it's a great little thing to uh, keep things organized, you know, rather than throw it in the drawer or bag or something. So one of the little things that's actually in the owner's manual of Ella Craft KX3 is this little device here. It's got a BNC on this end, and it's got where you can hook a wire to that end. So I bought one of those at the Ham Fest. You can get them on eBay too. And then the wire will just go inside of here, and it just screws down, and you can do different lengths for different bands. So you have a long wire antenna straight out of the radio, which is really easy. Now I also bought something I'm going to try. It's a little different. It's got a BNC connector and then it, it divides it into positive and negative. The negative will be your ground, the outside, and the pin on the inside will be your positive. So the positive, the red, will be the same as this. This ground is just right here. Whereas this one, you can put another wire. So I'll do some testing with SWR, um, do some lengths of wires for different bands, and then I'll do on this side what's called a, a ground or counterpoise um, on different lengths and see it may work better. But this little thing can be picked up on eBay also. I bought two of these, so I keep them in my little container. One of the other things Elecraft is selling now for about seven bucks is this little connector here. Um, the pictures show this on there but it doesn't come with it and you can get on eBay a little bit less money than uh, Elecraft but it's only a couple bucks. This will allow you to use a portable type antenna such as this one which is for 20 meters and have it go vertical. So this antenna for example it's all one piece I can get it out of here and it will expand of course and then the BNC connects onto the BNC connector and then you put it onto the side of the radio if you can see that. So it's really cool. Hopefully this will work good. Um, also it says when you use these things to try on the ground lug of the radio a counterpoise. So um, this being 20 meters, you want to do a counterpoise uh, whatever length that is. I'm not going to calculate it right here, but there'll be different lengths for 20, 40, here's a 40, and 80. Now 80 has a big coil on it, as you can see, and you have to screw in the top metal whip. So um, each of these was only like $19.95 plus shipping, of course, and tax if you live in Georgia. But these are really cool. I don't know how they're going to work. Uh, MFJ makes one that you put the lug, kind of like the buddy pole or buddy stick with the coils, which I'll talk about later. And um, it's, but it's like $89 bucks and it's a lot bigger than this. And, you know, who knows if any of them are going to work that good. Maybe in a pinch they'll work okay. So, this literally is wire in the center, but it's nice and coated. And this is clothesline that I bought at Walmart. I think it's 100 feet, 50 or 100 feet. can't remember. Anyways, um, it's enough to do an antenna or a counterpoise just by using some uh, wire strippers and stripping off the end and then using it either with this little connector or with this. Or if you're going to use this, and you can use this as a counterpoise. Um, but the little handle here was from um, some rope you buy at Walmart. 
and the rope comes with a nice little thing, and the, the wire came with just a uh, plastic bag, but it's like four or five bucks for a lot of wire. It's really a good deal. So the other connectors I have is BNC to SO239. SO239 being the UHF type connector, and you can see the BNC. That way you can use standard type PL259 connectors, which would be one of these, that goes into this. Now, just because I want to make sure I have all my bases covered, and because I'm waiting on the radio, I also bought a BNC to PL259. That way, if you have a connector that has a female end on it, and this goes to the radio, of course, you can hook it into the female end. So I'm covered either way. Or you could do 90 degrees. No, actually, that wouldn't work, would it? Oh, yeah, you could. Well, it's kind of, you wouldn't want to do all this kind of mess. Actually, that, that would not work. Anyways, so the 90 degree connectors, I've got a couple of them. Can't have too many of those because i got all my antennas. I've got three. 40. 20 and 80. They were out of the 15 meter. Um, I got this through a um, ham radio store in Georgia. And, um, and I put all my connectors in, in here so it keeps them nice and neat. And it's got a little flip down lid so it's pretty cool. Keeps it under control. I got counterpoise. I got a couple of these actually I bought. Um, and then also I've got the counterpoise and the buddy stick I purchased from Buddy Pole. Um, this is really cool. I like to go with the buddy stick over the buddy pole because the eham ratings were just as high, actually a little higher I think on the stick, and also um, it was a lot less money. And from what I understand, um, to use the buddy pole properly, from what I've read in the book, the book, buddy pole in the field, you really have to have it up about like 19 feet. Um, most people don't, and I know they do it 8 feet, 10 feet, so I'm sure they work fine, they talk around the world, don't get all mad, but verticals do better closer to the ground. Then this is all electronic theory. So I went with the Buddy Stick, saved some money, also I'm making a to-go box, and this is not, um, not very thick, and I'm going to have a 2U drawer, which is two of the units. Uh, I bought an 8U box. And um, I bought, I'm going to get a 2U drawer that this will fit in. And that way I can have everything in this box. And the box is also going to have or has wheels and a pull out handle just like a suitcase. Um, there's a good to go box. It's my to go box that a guy in California put together, which is really nice. He used a 6U box, but it has no wheels, no handle, and no drawer. I mean, the drawer is going to be great because I could throw these in it, I could put cable in it, I could put this in it sideways, you know, the 2U it'll fit, the 1U it won't, 1.75 inches is the 1U, 3.5 inches deep is the 2U. So um, the reason I, I got the little bit larger box was because I wanted a drawer and I could put pencils and pens to write down people's call signs, um, keep track of everything. So, um, if you have any questions, um, I'll do another video later on the buddy. I'll open that up. Um, just got that the other day, so I'm ready for the KX3. I'm sitting here. The front door is right there. I mean, I'm ready for that radio. Um, interestingly enough, though, it's not going to be shipped with the battery packs at first, so you're still going to be kind of connected to uh, some kind of power supply or a lot of guys are talking about batteries and you know portable ability and all that but one of the main things about the radio is it can run on eight AA cells and I'll do another video on that I've got some good ideas on storage for those and I've got about four or five sets of low discharge AA batteries for the KX Elecraft KX3 so uh, look on my channel for another video on that. This is Stephen, K4ATZ, saying 73s.